I don't want to get you in trouble. I know the first season is eight to ten episodes, whatever it is. Well, I'll be sent to the planet purgatory if I say anything wrong. Uh, far, far away. I'm just curious, of the first season, which uh, episode number uh, are you most excited for fans to see? There's eight episodes. I would say one to eight. <laughs> cannot. You cannot. It's like separating a family. Say, which child's your favorite child? Right. You just say, well, yeah, but that one's got that. But then that one's got this. And then, uh, no. I got it. Yeah, it's, no, it's a whole journey. So uh, one of the things Dave wrote, Dave Filoni wrote all the episodes. What surprised you about his writing and uh, the scripts of the first season that you weren't expecting? Um, the, I think the vision and complexity and the newness that's, that's being given to the, the new entities, the new uh, uh, scale. There's a there's a certain scale to Ahsoka. I think it's all. Everybody's saying this is sprinkled with a bit of pixie dust on this one. Um, I remember walking on sets and going, like, "Who designed this?" And then walking up to the set itself and going, "Who constructed this?" And Everybody brought in their, bringing their A game, and you just like uh, the costumes are works of art. So, in the storylines themselves, it it second guesses. It's this. It's that. It's that. Oh, right. That's going to lead to. No, it's not. It's leading to this. It's leading. To, and there's a lot of cliffhanging surprises and journeys and unexpected events, and you just kept it going. It kept it coming. So it's, it was just a delight to go to work. Exhausting, but a delight. We saw in the footage that you get involved in the action, yeah. and and obvious, and it looks so so good. I'm just curious, what can you tease about the uh, the spectacle, the action that you were involved in? Well, the way the amazing stunt team that we work with, headed by Ming, the incredible uh, fight coordinator, is such that. We arrive and we're already getting the tip of the iceberg, the cream, and how much have they already dismissed and worked out for camera. So we stepping in and that's, they're working the fights out with our characters in mind and that, and then you get on set and it, you get, there's, they're character driven fights. And I think it's not just, here's a lightsaber fight. It's that character, the stakes are up. You don't know who's going to come out of it or how they're going to come out of it. You may think you do, but when you're in it, the dynamic, the energy involved, it, 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 they literally keep you on the edge of your seat. One of the things about Thrawn is that he's the smartest one in the room. I'm going I'm to take a quote. Well, <laughs> it's like, according to him. Ah, uh, I, I was going to say. I mean, he might be right, and he's a smart guy. Right, I got it. I was just going to say, I wanted, I was curious about your relationship with him, if, if adversarial or friendly or what can you tease? Yes. <laughs> well, last thing for you. I love learning about the behind the scenes of the making of a show. What surprised you about making a Star Wars show uh, that you didn't expect? As I was just alluding, uh, Shauna, who's the head of the wardrobe department, for, for example, choose that as an example. I turn up and there's this amazing costume. And I had some ideas. And da, da, da. Next thing I know, Dave said, I love it. It's incorporated. And there's five costumes. And they're all hand stitched. And, and the work and the detail and the, that the enthusiasm gone in, the collaborative nature of all this as well is, is, is what's breathtaking. And you're going like, yeah, as I say, who designed this? And then who, who constructed that, that, that attention they did? Everybody's bringing. I tell you what it is, Dave Filoni and John Favreau have this unique ability to facilitate everybody to bring their best of themselves to work. I'm not expecting geniuses or just the best of you. And to have that, why do you get up in the morning to go to work with the hope that you're able to bring the best of you to work? And that's what they have and it's, it comes down, it's a humility of greatness from them and that was the most... I don't know. I mean, so, you know, empowering and, and wonderful and humiliating and humble. Maybe. It makes it easy to come on a red carpet and talk about a show when you're that passionate about of, it. Of course, because there's a genuine love there. And you, yeah. Yeah, and you feel that now and resonated as a tsunami of love from the fans. That's from the cast and crew as well. Sure. You just want to give it to the audience who deserve it and give them everything and they facilitate just bring your best to work. Yeah, I got to stop there. I'm just going to say, man, I am really looking forward to this series. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so much.